Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Havoc here today with finally another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a YouTube logo for free. Um, this will be kind of an updated tutorial from my previous one. But uh, since that one got so much support, I decided to just go ahead and make an updated one. Kind of fixing any of the issues, hopefully, that people were having with the previous one as well. If this tutorial does help you out, uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Um, thank you guys for all of the support as of recent, even though I haven't been super active over the past year or so. And I'll be explaining anything that I haven't really been touching on, why I've not been very active. I have said that I was extremely busy, and that's not entirely everything. That's not entirely the truth. And I just want to be upfront with you guys. So if you are interested in that commentary, uh, be sure to... To look out for it and uh, yeah let's get straight into the tutorial though all right so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is click on the first link in the description and that will take you to this page right here and basically if you're not familiar with this website it is defont.com um, this website has a ton of different fonts I would imagine it has at least 10,000 fonts on file so the one that we're gonna use for this this tutorial, however, is called Earth Orbiter. So whenever you find a font, you just click the download button. But if you want to find different fonts, you can go to themes. If you want to have like a same kind of style, you can go to sci-fi and choose a bunch of different fonts. There, there are a ton of different kinds. Um, so have, have at it. Whatever you want, just click the download button and it should show up in your downloads folder in your computer. It should show up as the, the font name um, and you would just click on it and it, for example, this font that I downloaded has 33 different styles. So I can just click on one of them and it'll load up this page right here and you basically can just click install and it will install the font onto your computer. Now the reason why I started this tutorial out by downloading the fonts is because a lot of people had problems with their fonts showing up on Pixlr and I later found that it's because you've got to exit out of all your tabs before the font actually shows up and I'm pretty sure you have to restart your entire browser. So just exit out of all your tabs, restart your browser and your font should show up. I've never run into the issue where it never shows up, the font never shows up. It usually takes maybe up to five minutes. So just be patient, I know it's a bummer, but it'll work out eventually. The second link in the description will take you to this page and I may actually take you to the, to the next page because you're gonna wanna just open the original Pixlr editor because the new one, um, there are a lot of, a lot of downsides to them i don't really want to get into it but it's just not better you're going to want to create a new image and we're going to have 800 width and 800 height and just click transparent and we can go ahead and name this just logo whatever you want click ok so here we are here's our frame i'm just going to go ahead and click on this maximize button so we can fully utilize everything. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is just click on this type tool and click anywhere on this frame. And we will go ahead and make sure we're on our font right here, whatever font you downloaded, uh, 999 size. Um, and if your font isn't showing up, I would just restart your browser once again until it shows up, cause it will eventually. But we're gonna have regular size and then color. So I like to just go to this web tab right here. You know, whatever logo or banner you're making, you can actually choose the same color and everything will be cohesive. Um, so I'm just gonna make this probably this kind of icy blue color right here. Click okay. And I'm gonna make the text A since my name is Andrew, but do whatever you want. And sometimes this program will, the font will just spawn somewhere ridiculous. So just click and drag and typically it's above for me. I don't know if it'll be for you guys, but I think the program just does that. Um, so just click and drag and that should be all good. Now this font is fine, but some fonts this program will cut off. So if you're running to that problem, uh, all you have to do is just click on this text box and click the space bar and it should, should help you out. Um, as you can see, it was cut off, and then now you can see that corner right here. We aren't going to be using that font. We're going to be using this one. Click OK. Okay, so now that we have the font, we will come back to it. Don't worry. But for now, we're going to be going to Google, and we're going to be searching up Glitch Texture. 
And so you can choose whatever glitch texture you want. So this would be the layer that you put on your text. So you can use this, you can use whatever kind of glitch you want. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So I'll just click and drag and put it on my desktop and then exit out of that. So we'll go back to Pixlr. If you zoom in on this program, if it's not rasterized, the the font becomes smaller. It's It's very strange. I'm not exactly sure why that happens, but if you just right click, and go to rasterize layer it makes it a tiny bit smaller unfortunately but you can change that later on if you just go to edit and free transform and we'll just make it a, just a tiny bit bigger and make sure you're clicking on the shift button or else you won't be saving your your dimensions okay so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our glitch uh layer onto this text so go to open image as layer go to this texture, background, whatever glitch background you have. So now we're gonna go ahead and click the free transform button. Make sure this is a lot smaller. Make sure you're clicking on the shift button while you're scooting it down so that the dimensions don't change. So click yes. And we're gonna go ahead and change the hue and saturation to basically what we really want. So we can click colorize and go to the different hue and we can make this kind of really bright if we really want to. Um, and it's really up to you. You can just play around with these settings. You can choose not to colorize it and choose to have maybe a more interesting color. Um, and I'm going to just maybe play around with it. I think this may look kind of cool though, right here. And we're going to go ahead and change the texture opacity to about maybe 50 or so, um, because then that makes these kind of things on this texture kind of highlights and I think that would look kind of interesting so we're gonna go ahead and do that and the next thing we're gonna click on this wand tool make sure we're clicked on this a right here and this only works if you have the a rasterized or whatever letter you have and we're gonna go ahead and right click invert selection so it's selecting anything outside of your text click on the layer 17 wherever your glitch texture is and then just click delete and it'll delete it and then you can click on the lasso tool double click to unselect whatever you're selected right here okay so the next thing we're going to do this text isn't complete promise you that we're going to be adding an outer glow here pretty soon and i'll show you how to do that here but the next thing we're going to do is find a space wallpaper so if you if you search up space wallpaper and you can even search up space wallpaper possibly 4k to even get better resolution better results um, you can do that now if it's a certain color you don't really want it to be you can go ahead and change that so don't limit yourself on based on color but i would definitely go to tools and go to size and make sure large is selected so that anything you do find is a huge like these are huge wallpapers so anything that you want to have in your background, just go ahead and install it onto your computer. And we're gonna go ahead and go to layer, open image as layer since I already have it installed. And if I go to my YouTube stuff, video files, if I go to my YouTube stuff, go to my logos, and if I click on this one, and I have a bunch downloaded right now. So if I go ahead and click on this, and if I go to free transform, it's huge it's a humongous wallpaper so we can click the shift button make it a tiny bit smaller and kind of oriented it so that it looks all right i think that should be pretty good right there so we can click ok and we're going to make sure that this layer right here and we can toggle layer settings again just to open up this tab a little more and we can also open up by doing this which is also a helpful tip and I should have shown you that sooner, but we can just go ahead and drag it all the way down to the bottom. So that it's at the bottom right here. We can go to adjustment, brightness and contrast, and we're gonna up the contrast quite a bit. And the brightness, we're gonna tone it down a tiny bit, I would say, maybe contrast, maybe not that much. Maybe like right about there and click okay. And we're going to go ahead and maybe do hue and saturation as well. And I don't think we're going to colorize it, but we can up the saturation. And it's really up to you guys. Like, you can really choose whatever you want. I mean, I can make it blue. I can make it orange. I can make it green. Like, this looks pretty dope. But we're going to stick with 
with kind of the blue logo and I'm gonna make it kind of a little darker right here and click OK. Now we're gonna go back to our text right here. Right click, layer styles, do an outer glow and this will kind of help your logo, I think, stand out. If you do this, go to web, obviously. We're gonna make it kind of pretty bright, I think. Make the size a little larger, I would say. And maybe not super hard, but the size, just make it pretty big. Click OK. And if worst case comes to worse, um, you could probably just switch this opacity to maybe like something like that, just to make it less. Or if you really like the dark logo, um, I mean, you can, it's really up to you. You can have just like a glowing logo if you really want. So let's just go ahead and say that you're not really happy with this logo. Um, we could go to layer, open image as layer, and you could go ahead and search for other textures if you really want. Um, possibly we could add another glitch layer to the background so we could possibly make the background a little more interesting so just go to free transform make this glitch a little larger right here go ahead and click yes and then right click and then we're gonna just change the opacity to maybe 20 and then do hue and saturation saturation we could go ahead and just colorize it right and just saturation all the way up and then just see what we really like um, we can even make um, it look a lot brighter right here and so we can just kind of change whatever we really want if we spend enough time we can make it look pretty decent just go ahead and just mess with the settings i just challenge you guys just to mess with the settings just see what really works for you um, because maybe you're not proud of this but you can go to mode and you can change the mode so if you want like maybe an overlay um, and you can see what the difference is if we go to zero to like 100 i mean that just makes the background kind of look stylized um and it looks really space like just with that glitch logo i don't know what it is about it but it just makes it kind of space themed so i'm sure some people may not be very proud of this logo and honestly it kind of looks a little cluttered just because of this background having so much happening it's kind of distracting from the logo so the logo I think needs to be maybe a solid color. So if you decide that you want your logo to be kind of solid color, then you know you can just go back to the type tool and switch it all back. And let's just go ahead and see how it looks if we go ahead and do that. So unfortunately, since we did rasterize the text earlier, we cannot change the font or anything like that. So we'd have to recreate it. So I'm just gonna create an A just like before, click and drag, and there it is. And I think we're just going to make it white just so it kind of stands out a little more. Obviously, it's cutting it out, so we'll do a space. And I think that should be good. So we're going to go to right click, go to layer styles, outer glow. We're going to go ahead and make the same color as before. Just go ahead and make it kind of a little softer, I think. Maybe one hardness and the size. I don't know, maybe a little more. Maybe two hardness and the size, like maybe right there. And we can always change the color if we decide that isn't suitable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these just to see if we like this better. And I honestly think this looks a lot cleaner. If we go to our A, our text tool, and put this right here, this honestly looks a lot better. Um, and we can go to rasterize. And obviously it makes it smaller, but we can fix that by going to free transform and click the shift button. And there is our font right there. It's a lot bigger and it's a lot clearer. And that is our logo right there. I think that looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think I may make it a tiny bit smaller. I think that should be pretty good right there. Get in the middle click yes so after you're finished with your logo and you have nothing else to fix with it uh, just go to file save name it whatever you want jpeg or png work i prefer jpeg and the quality obviously you want all the way up to 100 and then click ok and then it'll ask you where you want it to be stored as so we can go to youtube go to thumbnails and go to tutorials and we'll go ahead and save it right there. 
So now that the image is saved, I'm gonna show you real quick how to add it. This is my first ever channel, horrible videos. I would not recommend watching them, but we're gonna go ahead and just edit our profile picture. Just click edit and then click upload. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click upload photo. And it may take a little while, but there it is. We can click done. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my YouTube channel. So just click YouTube back to my channel right here. And there it is. It's all changed. It's all updated and usually it doesn't take too long, but some people run into issues where it takes maybe five minutes for YouTube to actually update their logo. So if that happens, just be patient, but it'll change eventually. But I did hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. I hope it did help you guys out in making a decent logo. If it did, be sure to drop a like and make sure you do subscribe for future tutorials. It has been your boy Havoc here and I'm out. Peace.